good day to you. Good day to you. I want to uh, project to you, pitch to you, vib jior for your tongue. We know vib jior is the color of the rainbow. So how you turn a bad situation into a good situation? How you turn using your tongue? How you turn a difficult proposition into an easy proposition? It's in your tongue. So the tongue is compared to a rudder. Now ship is big, rudder is small, waves are bad, winds are bad, but the rudder takes you through possible pathways without cursing the winds and the waves. When countries get bad, citizens begin on social media especially to uh, pour out a lot of vitriol and stuff. Uh, so for me, Vidyar, V stands for victory. You may add virtue. What else do you like to add for uh, V? The bad one is all the time people becoming vituperative, vitriol and, and with their mouth tearing down a country, tearing down a, a government, tearing down an opponent, sometimes tearing down an old friend, even tearing down your wife or your child. Uh, so I want to introduce to you that with your tongue, you can guide yourself into victory. So the first we is victory. Uh, so a, a situation that is going to defeat, you are confessing that there is a way to get victory. You don't confess defeat. Now when a cricket team is doing bad, you find people are saying they'll go bad, they'll go from down bad to worse and you're all the time pulling people down. So now we want to pull people up and that's what I call victory. So first feature of the vibhya for the tongue is proclaiming victory. Though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, dismality, defeat, I do not fear evil because I know uh, I have a confession of victory, I have a gift self within me and hope in a blessing that will give me victory. So the first thing to add to your rainbow, color. Rainbow is what colors your color, sky. So I, we want to make it V for violet and we know violet, uh, the purple, the violet is worn by kings, it's regal, it's imperial. So I, I like to call it victory. The second one is influence influence uh, that is vi the indigo color for influence often it it mellows into the background and that kind of thing so that's why i want to use it for influence rather than there's an old english word called imprecatory that is always talking the bad thing and you speak to the child or to your company this is going from bad to worse you know speaking the bad thing we don't want to go that way that's old English. And there's another old English word called iniquity. It means things that go wrong and you don't know why. Things that go wrong and you don't know why. Uh, so we want to exercise influence with our words so that the hearer gets better in what he's doing and we ourselves exert our influence with the words we choose. Uh, so we are not overwhelmed, we, it's a bad situation, we can see it's a bad situation, but we are speaking an influence into that person's life so that that person becomes better. This is, uh, this is the intention of the vibhyor in your life as exercised by your tongue. So don't, when people come against you, don't give power to what they said against you and start a uh, firefight on social media against them. You know, social media used so much to shame people for firefights and to go through just uh, uh, 20 minutes of social media just to connect with your friends is such a battle because there's such a lot of uh, 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 put downs in it. So I want you to be smart with your digital language also. Uh, the, the, you know, there's a digi digital language, there's a digital tongue. How you behave yourself on the uh, social media is the di digital tongue and the kind of clips you circulate. So you always mind your influence to be a fountain. So rudder leads a ship. A fountain is what comes out of your mouth, of which comes from your thoughts into your mouth. 
And the next principle I want to tell you is what you speak, you will believe mostly. Uh, so more than others speaking, when you speak, yes, I'm going to get over this situation. Yes, I have four hours to analyze this problem and find a solution. I'm going to find it. Now, problem may be huge, but you have four hours. You have a, you have a character, you have attitudes, you have a skill set, and you have knowledge. Character, attitude, skill, and knowledge. So putting all those three, four, four, four together is called grace, but we are coming to that later. Uh, so we want to wield good influence with our tongue over our situation and over people. So there is a situation, there are people connected in, there's a time period, there's a space of operation, and we want to wield our influence for good. Overcoming the iniquity is what has worked in the situation against us, against the situation. Iniquity is an unseen influence, sometimes it's a seen influence, uh, but you don't, you don't know why it went wrong. That is what iniquity is. It's a default line in the company or in the planning or in your character or in your family line that is playing back now. So we want to have influence with our tongue. So with our tongue we say, my cup runs over. My table is well furnished. Even in the midst of adversity, even, in, even when adversaries abound, my table is furnished, my cup is overflowing. Table being furnished is basic need. Uh, the, the, the cup overflowing is more than basic need. Also, I have enough for celebration. Then this, that is my influence. Then the next one is the B, B, G or B, B for benevolence. That is with my tongue, I want to offer not the worst construction. With my tongue, I want to offer the best construction not the worst construction uh, to a person that I'm dealing with. In my thoughts, I want to offer the best construction for our nation. We want to offer the best construction. Obviously, the opposite of benevolence is malevolence, bad feeling. But we want to give the best shot and the best feeling and the best effort for our children. They must learn benevolence from us. So the expectation of the child from the dad or grandfather or grandparents or teachers and then the expectation of juniors from the, from the seniors is benevolence because they are benefactors. So this we have understood this as a call from God. Being a senior, we are to be a benefactor. So benevolence rules the house. Benevolence rules the company. So the CSR projects that those benevolence is doing kindly to those who have been unkind to us, doing kindly to those whom we don't owe anything. Another opposite of benevolence is the demand mode. Benevolence is about giving and being satisfied. Demand mode is give me, give me, you didn't give me enough. Uh, so in our, in our vimchior, we want to shift to the B, the benevolence in, the, in, in our dealings, uh, to at least give as much as we get. Uh, that is how it is, yes. Then the fourth one, the grace, uh, I'm touching on this because there's so much of uh, so much of rancor is rampant, vitriol is rampant on the social media. Shame him now. If you are dissatisfied with your service provider, shame him now. Expose the fellow. Sometimes I think, what if God exposes everything about us? After all, there is a just judge who knows everything. The best benefactor who overlooks many faults while we do tit for tat and butter for fat and we are exacting like Shylock cutting the pound of flesh, uh, very dissatisfied and often in social media what comes out is not satisfaction but dissatisfaction about the government, about your boss, about anything else. So we want to uh, move to grace. Grace is, so vip chiorgi, grace is we don't get what we deserve, we don't get just deserts and we get what we don't deserve. That's grace. That is a kind kindliness. This is how God works with people and this is how we can shift to grace and being gracious where we were badly treated. Obviously the opposite of grace is grouchy, growl uh, and, and we have that little word we said when we are powerful we growl like bears and make some others, majority to mourn like doves. 
But then our turn comes and when we are powerless, someone else having power over us, they take the turn to growl because the growl we did as bear, now it's our turn to become doves. So when governments change, this goes on all the time. And even power changes in the corporate, this can go on all the time. And there is no toxic brew more than politics and religion mixing together. When politics mixes with religion or religion mixes with uh, politics, the end result is both suffer. That's the verdict of history. You can cite so many examples like Sa and Rasputin and so on. Better to cite those historic examples than citing present examples. It is safe to cite the historic ones. Uh, so grace, the beauty or grace, and I like to, uh, and the green color is full of grace, isn't it? It's a color of life, green. Uh, and blue color is the color of uh, everywhere, it's everywhere. Uh, so grace is that nature where we don't return to others according to what we got. We return better. This is the principle of grace. And we do that with our tongue. Uh, so we, our tongue can be seasoned with grace. You have to count to ten before you react. And this has to be a way of life even when you are driving. Don't curse the traffic light. Don't curse the bad driving on the roads of Sri Lanka. If, if, you, are, if you are overwhelmed, just go to Egypt for seven days and see how the driving there is. Uh, so don't complain about the bad roads here. Uh, go to a country with worse roads and think about it. So people keep comparing some, some super holiday they had in some nice country and come back to Sri Lanka and all the time they say, these roads are horrible, that is horrible. You know, it's a very sad thing. Our health services are so... All people don't know how good our health services are. Public health services, government health services, without any charges mostly, how well they are done recently. A friend of mine had to go through a young fellow, he's 43, 45 years old, go through a neurosurgical operation in our neurosurgical unit in NHSL. It was done so precisely. And when he, when I went to see them, the nurses knew the job so well. And if you do get dengue for a child, the best place to be is Lady Ridgeway Hospital. I have worked in the government sector, have lectured in medical faculties and have been to many private hospitals many times. I'm telling you with experience, just one area in Sri Lankan life that people have no good word for our freely run health services. And they keep comparing our doctors saying they charge so much. What if our doctors go to a Western country? How much will they earn for a day, isn't it? How much will they earn for a day? Uh, so, uh, grace is uh, temperance and speak with measure. That's what grace is. Even when you feel critical, speak with measure. Uh, I, I'm suggesting that the way you speak is the rudder of your life. That's how you'll walk the life journey. You speak rude, you get rude. It's an old law, what you sow. So you reap what you sow, you reap. So this is about grace. At this point, I want to add a few points about my observations on COVID. Uh, people have been asking me, my concerns are these. One, vitamin D and zinc is 88% effective for risk reduction, prevention of infection and prevention of transmission. Vitamin D and zinc. There was a proposal to the government to make vitamin D cheaper and uh, mass vitaminize the whole population then children would have had very good health levels anyway with vitamin D and A and zinc of course. Uh, so when there is such effective prophylaxis, why should we go to some other kind? My considerations are scientific. Two, uh, chemoprophylaxis with hydroxychloroquine or ivermectin is still valid. India used it extensively. Now, Professor Andrew Hill of Liverpool University in UK has uh, done uh, research meta-analysis under auspices of WHO, effect, how effective ivermectin is. And the point there is this, when the mRNA is changing, uh, mutations can occur, mutants can get together and that is called reassortment. Latest is that in England, in US. There's reassortment, that is mutants getting together uh, and, and, and the Kent variant 
seemingly is still uh, the, the, uh, the present vaccines are still effective for the Kent variant. Uh, but for South African and Brazilian variants, they may not be effective. That's the talk. Uh, then the, the, there is a, now a mutant in U.S. where the, the South African and the Brazilian variant have come together. So what happens is when mutations occur in the COV2, the spike protein configuration can change. And the vaccine offers immunity by making the spike protein in our body and uh, making the spike protein in our body and uh, and uh, we are body making antibodies. So if the next spike protein of the mutant has a different spatial stereo surface configuration, then the antibodies we have made will not be effective. I hope you got it. Uh, but if we give chemoprophylaxis, a drug that w works for prevention, still the drug is effective. Uh, so that's a medical point. Thirdly, is the whole debate that uh, people who are uh, coronaviruses when they were previously vaccines were made such as for COV-1 when you meet the uh, wild virus next time around when challenged people get a phenomenon called virus interference and serious disease. Fourthly, uh, when the vaccine is given uh, you are shifting uh, people from innate trained immunity which is T cell based to adaptive immunity, which is antibody-based, the B-cell-based. So there is a scientific debate on whether that's a wise thing. Uh, fifthly, uh, there are antibodies that are made which are called neutralizing antibodies, which are effective against the virus protein. And there are blocking antibodies. If, so if blocking antibodies keep increasing, our own body gets into a cytokine storm. So that is also a reason. Uh, so getting back into VIBGR, uh, the fifth one I want to try is yield, the Y, yield. Uh, so when uh, people are trying to oppose you, uh, there's a principle, uh, blessed are the poor, uh, for they will have authority when you are needy in spirit. Uh, then uh, there's another principle, meek shall rule earth. Uh, that is God's way of doing things. Who gets God's power? are those who are meek in the way they handle power. Meek is what? Not do tooth to tooth, eyeball to eyeball. Meek is that. Meek is not resist resistance. Now that is the, the yellow color. You know yellow color mixes with any color, gets on with any color. Yellow mixes with blue and gives, gives us green, yes. The yellow can mix and yellow can be the background for any graphic. So yellow is that nature of yielding, uh, cooperating. Uh, that's, we must teach this to our children because the digital generation is non-cooperating. Anything they say, bad, no, I can't, I don't care. So we have to get them out of it. Uh, screen moves kids like that. So I'm just doing the whip or this Sunday morning. Uh, the rainbow of your life, the seven colors we want to have. B for victory, I for influence, B for benevolence, G for grace and graciousness, Y for yieldedness. Just like the yellow color, in the background, there are people like that. Some characters are yielding characters. I did yesterday in Sinhala and sometime back in English, the seven character traits. So yellow is the yielding character, the diconia, diconia, the helping character. Uh, that's a good attitude to teach our children. That's a good attitude to take. In the midst of people who don't like you, uh, who are opposed to you because of your race or religion or because of the stance you take, still, when you are the helping kind, they will come around and say, please help us. So he help uh, is, a, is, very, is a strong influence, help, yeah. Uh, sixth one I'm getting to is on, O for orange. Or, or orange means you are prepared to move, isn't it? When orange comes, you are prepared to stop or you are prepared to go ahead. So I put orange for owning situations, good, bad or ugly. Owning meaning you say, uh, I, I, into my mouth I put this word, I have a solution for this, I have a remedy for this. Uh, I do have a diagnosis, I have a remedy for this also. This is a lifestyle of mine, uh, whatever the situation is, sometimes it's small and personal, sometimes it concerns an institution 
or a project, I still say I have a solution for this because I work with God. And I, I say there must be a solution for this. There, there are no incorrigible people or incorrigible situations. There are no irreversible, irretrievable situations. It's redeemable with that we will do under R, the last letter R. Uh, so ownership. Uh, so don't disown your child with your words. Be appreciative. Own the child's problem. I've said this many times, 7 p.m. is family hour, happy hour, dad. Your time belongs there, your best career is at home, I told you this again and again. And uh, own up, own the thing that went wrong, that is how countries get better. Own the thing, so when governments change, they have to own what has gone on, no point criticizing the past. You have to get on with what you have, you can't get on with what you don't have. Uh, same with the child, you have to get on with the child, even if a child gets on to a terrible trouble. You still have to own it. What you own, you change. That's preparedness. That's why I use uh, orange for preparedness. The or. This either or. It'll work this way or it may work that way. You're ready. Either or. In cricket, I suppose you are like the one down or the two down, I suppose, isn't it? He might have to face fast bowling or he might have to face the spinners depending on how long the earlier partnership was. So all round, I might call it an all rounder also, owning bad situations, yes. Uh, all rounders are not brilliant in one thing, they are rounded up, uh, they, they can fit into different places, they are a little like the ball bearing, they can fit into different places. So own your child's error also, and you can make good out of it. This is my sixth thing in the Vidya or the orange. Be ready uh, to rise with the tide or fall with the falling without capsizing. That's another expression. So your, your tongue can be a rudder in a storm toss. See the rudder keeps course. It can be the bit and the bridle of a horse. Nasty situation. You speak with your tongue Direction, keep direction, keep direction. It is not going any worse. Keep direction, tongue. Uh, then it can be a fountain of refreshing your tongue. Then your tongue can be a flame of inspiration. Uh, so there's this nice statement uh, that you will not snuff out a smoking, smoking wick. Lamp is about to die. But no, you take time to speak to that person's life and nurse the flame back to life. You don't snuff out, you understand? Uh, so uh, you, you, have a, you have a flame in your tongue for encouragement, softly, yes, encouraging. And when children are sleeping, that's a great time to encourage them with nice hymns, uh, speak to them kindly, and even to the baby in the womb. I have said this again and again, uh, mother needs to speak to the baby in the womb, though even if you are a career, career woman, when the child, even in office, uh, once an hour, one minute, speak to the child in the room, grace, kindness, encouragement, uh, their spirit hears. This is medical stuff. Sing nice things to them. And they can even follow your digital life, meaning they get affected by your digital life. They know whether you are emotionally engaged or just out there in the astro turf. Yesterday I learned, uh, I, I learned this statement from a friend's post, he calls it rubbish garbage on the astroturf, referring to the digital screen. Don't be there, mom. Be available to your child. It is about owning the time, the timetable, uh, child's time. You own it, direct it, invest in it creatively. You know what you own, you invest in it. Children can't be just left alone to do their own thing and expect brilliance out of it. I have said this early, uh, initially also in, in other talks, please lead them early. Don't wait till they are 14, 15, 16, rude, disobedient, out of home, out of your influence. No, exercise the influence early from the mother's womb, all the early years, exercise the influence. Then they will keep listening to you as they grow. Finally, I come to the R, Virchior. R is the color of red. Uh, that is important to clearly say, dad and mom, with your tongue clearly say, no is no, yes is yes. R puts the boundaries. Red is the light that has the longest wavelength, 
that is why you see it far that's why the brake lights are red that's why the traffic lights the stop is red you see it from far that's why danger lights are red because it's along the longest wavelength and blue is the shortest wavelength of course indigo and violet are uh, also short wavelength but blue the whole sky is blue is an illusion because the uh, blue wavelength is short so the red uh, 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 red gives another chance. Red says stop and stop and consider. Red stands for redeem. Red stands for restoration. Red stands for reconciliation. Red says course of re course direction is necessary. Uh, so red says stop now. Take stop. Take time. Orange says prepare. Green says go. So life is also sometimes like that, sometimes the red is a longer stop. We all need stops in our life to assess what has gone on. And what will red say? Redeem, restore, reconcile now. Don't go on like this. This may be for marriage, this may be for an investment situation, you are recklessly investing without taking stock. This may be for your child's life. Uh, see the red signals, you know, yeah, what for? Redeem, restore, reconcile. That's our life attitude. I hope these, three, these seven character traits you will ingrain into your tongue. Today's talk is about the tongue. So tongue is also uh, what you sow with. So, uh, so a statement says you eat the fruit of your tongue. What, what do you mean by that? What you sow, what goes around will come around. What you sow, you will reap. So you can sow good reports, then you have expectation of good reports. Uh, consider pain. If you keep saying, I have pain, I have pain, I have pain, and then you do f physical pain threshold goes down. Uh, same with emotional pain. When you take a lot of stuff in and, 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 and your reaction is pain and grief to it, rather than forgiveness and let go, your emotional threshold comes down, you will experience more pain. It's a vicious cycle. Uh, so. Uh, you can always turn to redeem, earlier we said grace, gracious, redeem, restore, reconcile. Anything that is pertinent to your life, your spouse, your child, your job, your health, your finances, your relationships, re redeemable. Say the same for your nation also. That's why we are in this nation, redeemable, yes. Long years ago, I got an opportunity to leave this country and do much better in King's Hospital London. But we made a decision that we stay in this nation and, uh, and see what God can do for us and also for the nation. Redeem, restore, reconcile. So when you see a crack, when you see an error, when you see a fracture, how do you think? Redeem, restore, reconcile. If it pertains to you, there must be a way that God would give a remedy. And if someone brings it under your um, tutelage, and if you have the uh, character, ability, skill, and knowledge, don't tackle things without that. Cask, C-A-S-K, character, attitude, skill, and knowledge. The four go together, like Tunapaha, yeah, they go together, like the Sri Lankan spices, they go together to redeem, restore, reconcile. So this is the principle. So in mistake management, we have a great example. Uh, in the, all our bad things went on the cross. All our bad things, all, all things that got crossed went, went like that. And we got a positive. Uh, that is our principle. When bad things are going on, uh, we say, redeem, restore, reconcile. Should be possible, yes. And for that, there is a good shepherd who is waiting to help. Remember, be pure. Write it down. V for victory, I for influence. B for benevolence, G for grace. Y for yield. Yeah, don't resist. Yield. Not agree, not compromise. Yield meaning humbly wait. O ownership, orange. Get ready, prepare. Uh, take it in, take it in. Don't, don't disown. Take it in, take it in. Be prepared to take more and more. That's how your influence increases. Yes, those who say I can't, your circle of influence, the sphere of influence goes down. Yeah, you don't need governments to give you influence. You don't need power to give you influence. You don't need money to give you influence. You don't even need a grand intellect to give you influence. It's how much you own and take under your tutelage. 
shepherd drink, the good shepherd care. That's how you should think. Finally, the R. Redeem, restore, reconcile. Thank you for listening.